hi everyone this is hello angel the design today i'm going to show you how to make your own basic sleeve pattern paper it's a beginner friendly and you will enjoy watching this tutorial and you can learn one or two things from this video if you're a beginner this is the right video for you so that you can know how to make your own basic sleeve if you're just stopping by please click on the red button that says subscribe and don't forget to hit on the notification bell button and select all option. If my tutorial has been helpful, thumbs up, make a comment down below if you have any question. And thank you all so much for staying with us. And we are doing our best to give you the best. And let's get started. <music> What you need when you're going to make a basic sleeve, you need your tape, you can see that, you need your in razor, you need your marker and your pencil, you need your ruler, this is my ruler right here, your measuring tape, your paper scissors, I use these scissors to cut with paper when I'm making a pattern paper. You need your arm hook curve. You also need the measurement of your sleeve. This is my measurement. And you also need your basic pattern paper for the bodies. So when you make a basic pattern paper for your child, you need the board front and back basic pattern paper. This is what you need when you're going to make a basic sleeve. So let's put the sleeve together. First thing that you have to do you take your front pattern paper and your back pattern paper, take another piece of pattern paper, tape the board pattern paper on that paper. You can see I have taped mine already. This line that you're seeing right here is just a basic line so that I know that my front pattern paper is in a straight line and also my back pattern paper. That is why you're seeing these two mark right here. Once you tape your front and back pattern paper together, make sure that both arm holes are facing each other and both side seams are facing each other. What you're going to do, you take your measuring tape, this is my measuring tape, place it at the shoulder of your front arm hole. You just place it and you go ahead and measure all around the front arm hole to the end where the arm hole ends this is where the front arm hole ends the measurement that you get you write it down and you also place your measuring tape at the back pattern paper place it at the arm hole from the shoulder you just go ahead and measure it all around the arm hole the measurement that you get you also go ahead and write it down once you have done that you take your ruler place it like this Make sure that this shoulder seam, this shoulder seam, you're just going to connect it together. You take your pencil, you just go ahead and connect from here to this point right here. Once you have done that, you just place your ruler again. You just connect from this point, that will be the mid part to the end right here. This is the back armhole, this is the front armhole. Where the both armhole match, you just go ahead and connect it to together what you're going to do you're going to take the total measurement of this mark that you connect together from here to the end right here you just go ahead and take the total measurement the measurement that you get you go ahead and write it down so once you have take all this measurement then we cannot start to put the slip together first thing that i'm going to do i just place my ruler at the bottom of my pattern paper so i'm just drawing a basic line so that will be my starting point when i'm putting my measurement so just draw a basic line like this once you have done that you take your measuring tape so this is my measuring tape my sleeve length is 38 centimeter so i will place my measuring tape from the bottom of the pattern paper and i'm going to measure all the way down to this point 38 centimeter for this sleeve i'm using centimeter measurement you can also use inches 
So I'm just going to measure 38 centimeter around so that I connect the mark together and I have a straight line. I have connected my mark together. The next thing that you have to do, you take your ruler, place it like this. You just go ahead and connect it down. This is a basic line. Already we have the length of our sleeve. You're just going to connect from here to the end right here. The next thing that you have to do, you're going to put the child wrist measurement. Mine is 13 centimeter plus three centimeter. I have 16 centimeter and you divide that by two. You have eight centimeter. What you're going to do this basic line that we draw right here. You put your measuring tape like this. You measure down eight centimeter. You come down to this other side. You measure down eight centimeter. So I will place my measuring tape like this at the mid part. I'm just going to take a measurement of eight centimeter and I will repeat the same process on this side. So we have put our wrist measurement. The next thing that you have to do is to put your sleeve cap height. My sleeve cap height is 13.7 centimeter minus three centimeter then you have 10.7 centimeter. So you place your measuring tape from the very top right here. From here, you place your measuring tape, you measure down 10.7 centimeter. So I'll just go ahead and mark 10.7 centimeter so that when I connect it together, I have a straight line. The next thing that you have to do once you have connected your cap height together, you're going to take your front arm hole and your back arm hole, you're going to add them together. So I add 15.5 plus 15 centimeter, I have 30.5 centimeter. So 30.5 centimeter divided by two, I have 15.25 centimeter. Once you have done that, the next thing that you have to do, you take your measuring tape or your ruler, place it at the very top right here, the sleeve head. You just move your measuring tape before you get to that 15.25 centimeter. You just move it gradually. Once you get to that 15.25 centimeter, you use your pencil, you just give it a mark. And then you come down to this other side, you place your measuring tape at the very top and you, you moved your measuring tape like this, just gradually. So when you get to that 15.25, you also go ahead and just mark that. Once you have marked your 15.25, you take your ruler, you just connect from here to that point. And then you come down to this other side, you take your place, your ruler, you just connect from here to this other point. Once you have connected them together, you just go ahead and connect from here to the wrist of your sleeve. That will be the sleeve wrist like this, the sleeve wrist. You just connect from here to here and then you connect from here to here. Place your ruler and just connect them together. I have connected the mark together and this is my back armhole. This is my front armhole. You can see that I just write it down there. The next thing that you have to do for the back armhole divided by three, go ahead and give it a mark. So the total measurement that you have here, you just divide it by three and then you go ahead and give it a mark like this and then you come down to this side and give it a mark like this so one two three the next thing that you have to do you repeat the same process on this side for the front arm hole you place your measuring tape the total measurement that you get divided by four you also give it a mark just the same way i did on the back arm hole 
So go ahead and do that. Now that you have marked them together, the next thing that you have to do for the back armhole, you moved up by one and a half centimeter. Place your measuring tape like this, moved up one and a half centimeter. And from here, you move down by 0 0.7 centimeter. So you just move down on this other side, not from this side, this will be the mid part. 0 0.7 centimeter is right here. So what you're going to do, you're going to connect from here to here, all the way down and all the way to this point. So you just take your arm hook curve, you place your arm hook curve and you just go ahead and connect it together. The next thing that you have to do, you're going to connect the front arm hole. From the front arm hole, you place your measuring tape like this. You moved up by one centimeter from here, one centimeter. From this other line right here, you move down by one centimeter. Place your measuring tape, also move down by one centimeter, it's right here. So what you're going to do, you're going to connect from the sleeve head all the way down to this midpoint, all the way to this other point and all the way down. Place your arm hook off like this. You just go ahead and connect them together. We have covered our sleeve hair. This is how it is. The next thing that you have to do, you are going to measure your back armhole and you also measure your back armhole body pattern paper and see if they are both the same length. If it's a little bit bigger, it's okay because that will be the ease for the sleeve head. You also go ahead and measure your front armhole bodies, your front armhole basic sleeve. If it's a little bit bigger, like one centimeter or 0 0.7 centimeter is fine because that will be the ease for the sleeve head. You can see that this is curved it needs ease around the curved edge the next thing that you have to do take your front bodies this is my front bodies measure around the front armhole you divide it by three put one third of that and you just give it a notch like this on your front armhole if you're putting two notch on the front armhole you're going to also measure the back armhole if you're going to put a notch for the back armhole you just put one when you also measure your back arm hole, divide it by three, you put one third on the back arm hole. You come to your sleeve, you have to do the same thing. You just measure it around, you put one third of the measurement on your back arm hole, you also put one third your measurement on your front arm hole. If you put two notch like this on your front arm or make sure you do the same thing with your front body pattern paper. If you put one notch on your back arm or make sure you do the same thing on your back body pattern paper. So this is how to make a basic sleeve. If my tutorial has been helpful, thumbs up. Make a comment down below if you have any question. If you're just stopping by, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that red button that says subscribe before you exit the video. Thank you all so much for staying with us and you all should have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye.